this same question was asked by three people, which is quite interesting. Okay. So people often say the creator of Drip is not known other than by a screen name. He's a mysterious man. Mm. Uh, some people use this as a reason not to invest. I do my best to defend Drip and say that Bitcoin and PancakeSwap are successful projects with anonymous devs. But I'm curious as to what you have to say when you hear this. Have you ever considered doxing yourself to help Drip? No, I don't think in the long run it is a help to have a dox dev. I think with the current gray area of regulation, the continuous changing of regulation, uh, I think having a dox dev is more of a vulnerability than a benefit. Mm. And I think that someone like myself can stand on the merits of their work and their long history in the space operating under this name more than a name. You know, it's very easy to buy an ID and to get a KYC. I could spend a couple thousand dollars right now and have a full ID, full KYC. And, you know, I could have my cousin come on screen. I could use his ID. <laughs> you know, there's no way that anybody can confirm that that was me, even if I gave my ID. So there has to be that element of trust there. If you're going to put trust in the developer, I say put your trust in the contracts which are trustless. If you do need that trust of the developer, if you need to trust the developer, which I do think is important because you know this is a fully functional, uh, fully operational project that does not rely on me. I could dive right now, Grip still functions on. We do have some cool things planned in the future, right? So I would say if you uh, get this question brought up to you, I would tell the person to go look on my discord, you know, I'll, I'll give you the link for my discord. Uh, go look at all the other groups I'm a part of. Go look at the projects that I've developed. Um, go look at the projects I've advised some of the larger projects in the space. Uh, Block Clout, Trust Swap, um, Maha Dao, Rio Dao. Um, I've worked as an admin for the larger venture capitalist group in um crypto um i handled the pre-sale raise raised millions of dollars for uh black dragons um dow group which is a, a dow group that's been around since 2016 when they were starting the first initial ipos they were involved um i've worked for and raised capital for dozens and dozens and dozens over 30 projects where i've raised tens of tens of millions of dollars for them um, so, uh, you know, I've been working in the space for about nine years now, Yeah, <laughs> six years as a developer and about three years before I was developing trading and helping people learn how to trade. I never, I never charged people for trading education. I always thought it was kind of a crop, uh, you know, not because you can't do it right. You can do it right and charge for education, but the majority of people don't. The majority of people are selling repackaged garbage projects and garbage systems. I yeah. saw that and I um, I had been a successful trader. I was trading Bitcoin and Forex at the time. This is like nine years ago. Some of the, And I had a bunch of friends coming to me who were interested in learning to trade. I decided that I would start a Discord group and start just posting my trades and start answering questions for them. And I was active in some other communities as well. You know, before long, I had 10 people, 20 people, 100 people joining my Discord group. And we're all talking about learning how to trade. The majority of them trying to learn my system and just learn about trading from me. And I did that for years until um, early 2018. Before, before early 2013, I was developing indicators. I was developing uh, trading systems, which I never sold. I always released open source because I made my money trading with them and using them. Um, then in early 2018, um, a friend that I knew that was a developer wanted to host a presale. Um, I got invited to a group to be part of hosting this presale. And since then, I, I just um, you know leveraged my connections in the space to get connected with more developers. Um, and since I had a knowledge of developing and of markets, which is something that's actually relatively rare in the space, a lot of developers 
don't have a good understanding of trading and markets. And a lot of people who have an understanding of trading and markets don't have a good understanding of developing. So I kind of had um, an interesting uh, set of skills that I could leverage that got me um, involved as in advisor roles and um, hosting a lot of these pre-sales. So I did that for years. I did that for th about three years. And then um, we had a, a RFI, a project which was a reflective uh, token, the first token to do reflect rewards correctly. There was a project called um, Ying, and then a project called Yang, then a project called Ying Yang. All these projects were the first projects to try to do reflective rewards, but they didn't, they, they couldn't figure out a way to make it so the liquidity pool was also getting these reflective rewards. So it created an arbitrage situation where people could uh, essentially drain the liquidity pool. RFI was the first project to figure out reflective rewards in the correct way. And within a week after that, I launched my first project, which was introducing a deflationary model to the reflective reward system. Uh, that project is called REAP, R34P, and it's still up. It's up about 200x from where it launched. And this is like almost two years ago. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I've, I've been working in space for a long time. My projects have all performed very, very well. And um, even my first project that I ever launched is still up almost 200x. And, you know, we're about to have a pre-sale, which is exclusive to people who hold the REAP token. Yes, you should tell people about that. Yeah, I will. I will. So even to this day, the first token I ever launched about two years ago is still getting new use cases introduced to it. It's still having great performance, right? So I, I don't create pump and dumps. I create projects that are here for the long term and can be built on to be part of a larger ecosystem. And this is all documented. Even all those pre-sales that I raised funds for, I created individual channels for them on my Discord and a discussion channel and a funds channel. And I made sure every single person that contributed to those posted their Etherscan link in the Discord. So it's all on chain, confirmed and, and uh, verifiable going back years. And people can look to see the funds were put in, the funds were sent to a development team, the tokens were sent to me, they were distributed. I mean, this goes back years and years and years where people can see that my word has been solid and I've been doing exactly what I said I was going to do and have done for years. And at this point, it's not, I mean, I like building great things. That's what it's about for me now. You know, I've been a, a multimillionaire in the space for years now. Um, I'm not interested in cash grabs. I've never been interested in cash grabs. I've never needed to do a cash grab. And, um, you know, Drip is just one major, major step along the way to creating this great ecosystem. So here's a question then. <laughs> if, if say, like people want to imagine what you look like, if you were to get a person to play you in a movie, which actor would you choose? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> let me see. Uh, maybe I maybe I should just say Brad Pitt and let nice. people uh, imagine, yeah. right? Guys, just imagine <laughs> Brad Pitt. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Flight. Yeah. <laughs> Flight Club. Brad. Brad Pitt. Fight on that. The tough one. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so we have two more.